Hello Team Libra, it's Empire333 here with your Love Tarot card reading. I hope you're all well and safe wherever you are. <clears throat> Excuse me guys. So, for those of you who are new, I'm doing overall energy right here. Then we'll go into each person with these decks. I might extend this reading if Spirit guides me to and that link will be down below. I'll let you know during the video. If not, also, you're always welcome to inquire about booking a personal, and that information is down below also. Okay, Libra, let's get into it. So what I'm seeing here, Libra, is that you feel like you're letting yourself go, okay? Spirit here is guiding you to take care of yourself, pamper yourself. You might have been waiting for someone else to pamper you or give you the attention you need, but Spirit's saying, you know, take care of yourself. This is also about why the same thing keeps happening over and over again. I feel that in your romantic connection with whoever this is, what's happening here is that some pattern keeps repeating in this situation, okay? And this is the, um, it's talking about breaking free from recurring negative, oh my God, negative patterns. I didn't even read that. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I'm praying to know the lesson and blessing they contain. So I feel like some of you, um, you're you're being, you're up, okay, Libra, you're up against breaking a negative pattern. And I feel like it has to do with some sort of behavior when it comes from your person and then when it comes from you, like what your reaction is, okay? And a lot of you are like, uncertain about how to approach this person, how to approach a situation, because you feel like you keep getting the same wall up with this person, right? So possibly if you try to confront them or you brought it up, this person, the energy that I'm feeling with them is they avoid you. They go into like lockdown, like uh, I'm avoiding you Libra, or they give you the same kind of answer. If they're not avoiding you, they give you the same kind of answer, like they try to turn it around on you, okay? So whether they're avoiding you when you bring up something or maybe you're complaining, Libra, so what, right? Um, those are your feelings and you should honor them. But the point here is that your person, regardless, is emotionally manipulating you, okay? Whether they're ignoring you and saying nothing or not, right? That's a form of emotional manipulation because if, even if, I mean, obviously when they turn it around on you, like, well, you said this or you did that, then that means that they're emotionally manipulating you. And even if they ignore you, if they're ignoring, discussing something, that means that they're emotionally, emotionally manipulating you. And I feel that right now there is the, there's a lot of sensitivity that's coming up on your end. I feel like some of you, you're just so mad and just so tired of the same BS from this person, the same situation, the same kind of behavior back and forth. And you are holding on to what you're saying because how should I say this? It's like you're walking on eggshells around this person. That's what it feels like, Libra, okay? And there needs to be a healthy communication in this relationship, okay? This is about your strength. You feel weak in front of this person for some reason, Libra. You're a great communicator, but when it comes to this person, it's hard, okay? Okay? Your person is difficult. There's no question about that, okay? They're difficult to deal with. They're not like you, okay? Um, but I'm hearing get out of your comfort zone. So you can't any longer do something that is comfortable for you, okay? You have to get out of your comfort zone because you're going to go through a transition. I feel like spirit is preparing you for a trans trans ishin okay a shift some type of a shift and it's like you got to break the negative pattern okay let's get into your person with this with this deck okay so let's see libra's person wow okay <laughs> yep 
Yep, 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 yep. So, Libra. This tower must fall, okay? And this has a lot to do with this person and them being complacent, okay? So, this is what I want to say with this. You keep giving this person the same reaction that they're giving you. So there's certain way, certain behavior, certain way of doing things, saying things. You give them the same reaction, okay? The tower has to happen. So this is about this person waking up and realizing like they got to they gotta make some moves, okay? Because your person is complacent, right? They are, you know, I feel like you're tired from this situation and so are they, okay? It feels that kind of energy. You're just tired of the same old Libra. Let's see. Let's see how your person feels about this. Whew. I just got a shock through my crown. Okay, so listen, Libra, your person, whether you already had some type of an argument, some type of, they had some type of breakdown or whatever, of course, I told you, they shut down, right? They go into hermit mode. You're already used to this. You know they do this every time, right? So let's see what this needs, okay? Okay. This is really interesting. Hold on. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, so your person here, Libra, they're avoiding a um how should I say it? They're avoiding an intervention. So it's like they know there's an issue in this connection. You know there's an issue. They feel your energy, whereas to you're tired of it, right? But after they come out of their hermit mode, it's like they do take a step forward towards you. This person, obviously, this is soulmate energy, right? There are feelings here. It's not like your person doesn't have any feelings for you, even though it feels like it sometimes. It feels cold. It feels like they shut down their feelings, but it's still there, okay? There are feelings here, but what I'm seeing here is like your person avoids. Your person avoids confrontation. They avoid a like a sit-down you know, it's that type of energy. And it's because they are, um, they don't know how to read their own emotions. So it's hard for them, okay, to comprehend what type of emotions they feel. And also they're scared that if they have a heart to heart with you, that you're going to end it fully. You're going to end it. Like, okay, I don't want to say the wrong thing, because I don't want this to be, I, I don't want this to end forever, right? So you might be in a connection, Libra, where it's like really on and off, or you broke up with this person a hundred times, or you stopped talking to them, or they stopped talking to you, whatever the situation is. This person does not want that to happen. They don't want this over, over, okay? So let's get into your energies, then we'll go back to your person, Okay, let's see how you're feeling, what energies you're lingering in for my Libras. Temperance, wow. So Libra, you feel like you're, you're pulling the weight of this connection, okay? Some of you are, you think you've waited a long time for whatever it is, that is about to go down. I feel like something is about to go down between you and this person. And it's because you're being pushed to do that. Like I said, spirit is saying, get out of your comfort zone. Okay. Whew. 
Yeah. Look, you, you're carrying all this. You're carrying this whole weight of this relationship. So your person, I feel, it's like they go into shutdown mode every time you want to talk, like I said. But in another instance, I feel that they, they whatever responsibilities they have in this connection, it's like that's it. They don't go outside of that. So I don't feel like you're getting a lot of loving affection from this person right now, okay? Wow, okay. Okay, so Libra, what I'm seeing here is that you're running out of patience. You've been patient, you've been nurturing this person for a long time. You feel that you have given enough to this connection, okay? But to you, there's still some things that you question. There are some things that are not like fully apparent for you. I do see that you have not been nurturing yourself while you're nurturing this connection. And it feels very heavy. So some of you are going to go through some type of a catharsis of emotions, okay? You're going to have like an emotional um, breakdown or like a emotional, yeah, emotional breakdown, but it's not really breakdown. It's going to feel like a breakdown, but then you are going to lift yourself back up because of this, okay? So if you got to cry, Libra, cry it out, okay? I feel that there's some type of cleansing that needs to go on and has to do with you and how you take care of yourself. And some of you are putting your, your, this person's feelings before your own. That's not good. Okay. You're going to realize that and you're going to like have this, like, you're going to feel free after you do this. I'm just getting like, you're going to feel like you're taking a breath because I'm seeing that you're not breathing the way you're supposed to. Okay. Um, so some of you might have anxiety about this. Okay. My stomach is growling, you all. I'm hungry. So this is about you and you making a move, okay? You reaching some type of resolution, okay? There is something that needs to end, okay? There's a part of this connection that needs to end, okay? And this is about spirit guiding you to that. There's something good that's going to come out of this releasing of this heavy energy for you, okay? Okay, so let's get into this person's feeling. I'm not going to extend this, guys. All right. This person is really into you, Libra. This is, you know, Empress right here, okay? Um, I feel, though, that... How should I say this? You are so into taking care of this person that they are not budging. So you might have spoiled this person, Libra, okay? You might have spoiled them. They, you know, and they got, their head got big, okay? Let's see. Whew. Yeah. This is interesting. So your person here is like trying to figure out, Libra, what your next move is. They know there's something that's off. I think we got this for you before, okay? But this person, it's like, I feel like they're complacent because... Um, if this makes sense, okay? Let me see how I'm going to translate this. It's like 
they feel that they did whatever they're responsible for. So it's like they're more... Um, they're more practical with this connection, okay, than like, okay, I don't have to emo be emotionally up you, or I don't have to be, I don't know, I know that doesn't sound right, but you all know what I'm talking about. Like, this is about someone who was like, I don't have to do more than, you know, whatever I'm doing. Ooh, we got the high priestess and the hierophant. Wow, this is definitely a soul connection. This is a contract you have with this person. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is Libra. I feel like your person is observing you. They're waiting for you to make some type of move. And it's because they're like, okay, well, I did all I can. What else am I responsible for? This person is so like, I don't know if you're dealing with an Aries, Libra. That is your seventh house. You know, but like, this person's definitely acting like an Aries. Like, okay, just let me know what I'm responsible for. Like, it's not, this person is like, Okay, well, and if they're not responsible for anything, Libra, they like if they haven't taken responsibility for anything, that's like it's even worse in that sense because this person, I feel that it's like they have to be guided or something, right? Yeah, this this person, okay. This is what I want to say. Um, Libra, you have built this person up. Okay? If that makes sense. You built them up. Okay? And they got so used to you building them up that, you know, they're the empresses. That's you. Okay? And you have done so much to... Like, you've accepted this person for so many things, right? But it's like they're not accepting a lot of things from you, if that makes sense. You've accepted this person's difficult behavior. You've accepted that this person has been, you know, not taking responsibility for their emotions, especially, okay? And what I'm seeing here is this person got so used to that. You spoiled them, Libra. That's what I'm getting here. You spoiled them. You made them feel really comfortable, okay? Okay. And the fact that you don't confront this person and there's no, like, you know, talk, heart-to-heart -heart talk, and it's, it's got out of hand where they don't take any action. They don't feel like they have to do anything. They are not budging. And it's because you've been taking the weight for such a long time, okay? So that's why they got used to it. And that, that's why I'm hearing, you know, you got to get out of your comfort zone. Okay, because they need to get out of their comfort zone. So whatever has been happening needs to change. There needs to be a transition in this connection or else it's it's not, it's going to be the same old, right? Yeah, yep. This needs to happen in, um, like this person wants to come together, they do. They want to come together. They want to enjoy time together. They want a healthy medium, but they keep pushing that away, okay? So whenever emotions get involved, they keep pushing that away, but that shouldn't keep you, Libra, from, you know, bringing this up, okay? There's a lover's connection here. This is about Okay, this is what I'm hearing here. Libra. The emotional the emotional part of this connection has to be balanced before anything else. Okay? This is a very strong connection. It doesn't feel strong right now. It feels weak, I know. But it has a lot to do with 
this person not fighting for this connection. They are complacent and it has a lot to do with the emotional aspect. So things became stale, okay, in this connection. The emotional aspect is not there. Maybe you're trying to make this person take responsibility or commit or whatever it is for some of you. But the point here is that the emotional aspect needs to be addressed. The feelings need to be addressed. The happiness or the lack of happiness needs to be um, addressed. The appreciation or lack of appreciation needs to be addressed, okay? So this has to do more with a building a friendship, like a happy friendship, than it has to do with commitment right now, okay? The first step is the emotional aspect, and probably that's being avoided. That has been avoided, okay? It's not about, hey, let me get this person to do this for me, okay? That can come later, Libra. That's okay if you have expectations of what this person needs to do, like step it up. But that's action-wise. Um, when it comes to emotions, that's what needs to be addressed because this person does have very strong feelings for you. I feel like there is love here. It's just that this person is not, they're avoiding, they're avoiding their emotions. Yeah. Okay. That's what's going to spark a new beginning. It has to, okay. Because it's, it got stale. Yeah. You're both tired of the same old. You're tired. Okay. This person is guarded. Because they keep getting the same reaction from you. They keep giving you the same reaction. You giving them the same reaction. And it's just going in like the circle. And um, this is your contract with this person. You have a soul contract with them, Libra. That's why it feels so annoying, right? That's why it feels so hard to deal with this person. You got a soul contract with this person, okay? There's something to do with this, okay? So... Don't forget to have your catharsis of emotions and you need the strength. You need to come out of your comfort zone. If you want this person or not, let me know in the comments. I know you're tired, Libra. Getting in your feminine strength. Getting in your feminine power, okay? And manifesting what you want. You got to switch it up, Libra, okay? You got to get into the fire energy. And that has a lot to do with cleansing. That has to do with releasing, okay? Whatever's coming up, whatever emotions are coming up, maybe you're beating yourself up about that now. Like, why am I, why can't I do this? Why is this always happening again and again? It's, it's you who needs to clean this up on your own first, okay? But then confront this person because the emotional aspect needs to be laid, laid out on the table, the emotional connection first before any step this person takes okay or it's not going to get anywhere it's not about this person making a move about responsibility it's about first emotions need to be addressed okay libra i hope this brought you clarity if you resonated with this let me know in the comments how you did and like this video if you did and subscribe if you like my vibe and my style of reading I wish you all the best, Libra. Peace out.